Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Rita's Book Club. On this episode, I'm reviewing Lost in the Neverwoods by Aidan Thomas. Uh, I'm such a big fan of Cemetery Boys, so I was really curious to read Hayden's second novel. Also, the premise of it was exciting and promised a whole new look into a beloved children's uh, character. Uh, when children start to go missing in the small town of Astoria, Oregon, people look at Wendy for answers to their questions. It has been five years since Wendy and her two brothers, John and Michael, went missing in the woods. But when it starts happening again, the questions surrounding her brother's uh, mysterious circumstances are brought back to light. While attempting to flee from her past, Wendy almost runs over an unconscious boy lying in the middle of the road on her way home from volunteering at a local hospital. Once again, Wendy gets pulled into the mystery haunting the town. The boy she almost ran over is called Peter, a boy she thought only lived in her stories and her imagination. He keeps claiming that if they don't do something, the missing children will meet the same fate as her brothers. So, in order to find them and rescue the missing kids, Wendy must finally confront what's waiting for her in the woods she always feared. Uh, I wasn't expecting this story to get dark so so dark so quickly. To be honest with you, uh, it was amazing to read the twist the author put in the story because it gave it life and depth. We all know Peter Pan's story, so it was definitely super smart to give it a darker and new side. Also, Wendy's character was just so interesting. I wanted to protect her from everyone because she was just trying to survive and move on. Then you feel all her pain for not knowing what really happened to her brothers and being the one to reappear after six months. We get also get some glimpses of her relationship with her brothers, the protective uh, sister that she was. And it was really lovely and very, very heartbreaking to read um, their their connection. Uh, I also was really involved with her relationship with her own parents and them dealing with their own pain uh, of losing their kids. I think the author did an amazing work with the evolution we see with their relationship and the understanding they find at the end of the book. I think it was important to give them closer so that both them and Wendy could move on. And then, of course, Joyful Peter. I was just, I just loved so much how he was the embodiment of joy, magic and sweetness. The way he interacted with children was deeply sweet, but then again, I really loved to see how he wasn't just a one-dimensional character, just a source of joy. He was also an adult. He was becoming an adult, and he, he also made mistakes, and he also had a dark side. So it was really lovely to see how, through the story, we see him become more an adult and we see him deal with the heaviness of real life. Uh, I think the importance of his character for the lost children but also for Wendy was truly magical. Um, I really loved how Aiden inserted a romance between Wendy and Peter. Their connection was very beautiful and fundamental for both of them to reach their full potential in the story. And I think the development of their relationship was made even more great due to the fact that Winnie didn't remember their time together besides her own stories. So it was like they were meeting for the first time, having this feeling, this connection. It was the feeling, the sentiment behind it but also the deep knowledge that they had a special bond in the past. All in all, it was, it's, a, it's a great fantasy book. Uh, it's amazing to get a new look into a story that we all knew so well as kids and to make it special not only for the, the audience, all of us readers, but also for the characters. We are all human and we all have to deal with things that will break us. So it was a really special book to me. As always, if you like this 
video, please like, comment and subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me on Instagram at Rita's Book Club for more content. Thanks for watching and see you next week. Happy readings.